<laughs> what is up, YouTube land? It's time to finish the fight. Remember that? Halo 3? Huh? Huh? We're still finishing that fight. I saw a meme. It was pretty bad, but kind of funny, where a kid, uh, somebody wanted to buy alcohol, and the, the guy running the shop was like, Hey, you don't have your ID. How do I know you're old enough? And the guy points to, he's wearing a Halo 3 shirt. And the shop keeps like, okay, sir. Because someone wearing a Halo 3 shirt is, you know, old. Because that game is like 15 years old. I saw a very similar thing, but what they did was that they, uh, he was wearing a hat. He took off his hat, and it's like, just like, the worst male po pattern baldness <laughs> ever. It's like, you're, you're fine, sir. <laughs> I like being, I, I barely go to places where you need to be carded, but when they do, I'm like, thank you. No. Thank you for it. <laughs> yes! I, thank you! I'm not 15 years older than the legal drinking age. Oh, I could have. It's fine. Warped. Nope. Anyway, this part's going to be super short. It's literally just the final boss. Uh, I was a little worried about this, but then I didn't, I didn't like play it at all on hero mode yet. Oh yeah. And then um, I was like, hmm, I wonder if this is going to be hard. And then I just did it first try easily. RIP. <laughs> so I could have done it last part. Yeah, at least we get to see that. Uh, no, I like I like having the, the little smaller part for the ending, you know? It's cool. Uh, it's really easy as long as you have this yellow potion. Uh, yellow potions make oh. you invulnerable for the entire length of your uh, stamina bar. Oh. And it lasts, like, a pretty good while, like, I want to say, like, 15, 20 seconds. And, like, when the only objective is, like, you know, swinging your sword, like, 25 times to finish the fight, it's, like, okay. It's, like, most of it. Finish the fight. It all works. <laughs> it just works. Get it? Oh, look at this throne room. <laughs> Somehow it's going to be Ganondorf. Literally, somehow Ganondorf returned. Hilda. Oh, stealing the Triforce of Wisdom. An echo of wisdom, if you will. No. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Link has courage, right? Yeah. And then. It's always power for Ganondorf. Ganondorf's Ganon. power, okay. I thought so. I would say the only deviation is, like, sometimes Link starts with the Triforce of Courage, and sometimes he doesn't, like Wind Waker. In right, where he has to find it. In this game, he also doesn't. But Triforce of Courage seemingly doesn't do anything at all. Maybe it lets him, like, actually physically attack Ganon, but I think that's more just, just the Master Sword. No! Utterly end, absolutely. Wait, this isn't the same character as the person who put everyone in the paintings, is it? No, uh, that's... I already forget her name. Rip. Uh... I, I don't... I do not remember. Painting that. girl. Got it. What a name. I think it's a girl. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Painting person. Uh, I saw, uh, coming out tomorrow I is that... I think it's that... maybe, like, Yuga? Okay. Yeah. I saw coming out tomorrow is that, uh... Oh no! Evil! Zelda is evil! It's over! Is that new Sonic game? And apparently it's been getting really good reviews. Which is surprising. I think Sonic Generation is like one of the only good 3D Sonic games ever made. I don't know anything about the additional shadow content, but... If it's just more Sonic Generation... Buttons. Wait! Oh, I didn't even pay attention to the name of it. This is literally... Sonic Generations, like, remake or whatever? It's like a remaster, and then they added, like, a whole, like, shadow story mode thing. Uh, heh! And that just starts. This fight is also not that hard, as long as you, um... When you circle her, like, counterclockwise, it really, like, avoids a lot of the BS. So you use the yellow thing to start, right? Yeah. Okay, huh, it looks like Because the very beginning, she doesn't really, um, like, teleport that much, and then starts doing it way more often. Makes sense. 
makes sense. Whereas now you can really only get in one, maybe two hits. Yep, yep. Classic. Second part, or are you done? There's a second part, yeah. Kinda That'd be a, such a disappointment. Kind of figured. Hey. Yuga. Yeah, I, th I think I said that. Sure. I'm it's like him. Yuga Fuse of Ganondorf now, or something. <laughs> Puny human. She got a point, though. Huh. No, the, the evil witch betrayed me. Dude, one of my favorite tropes. I mean, it's that's literally the entire Castlevania series, right? Dracula, I spent 20 years trying to raise you back. Now I will do my bidding. But <laughs> it instantly kills him. Probably my favorite uh, example of that meme is Dragon Ball Z with Bibbity. It's Bibbity, right? Yeah, Boo. When, when he brings Boo back, and Bibbity's like, Ultra strong thing! Do my bidding! And Boo's like, uh, immediately kills you. It's so good. It's like, at first, Boo does it, but then, like, I forget who says it. I think it's just Goku who's like, hey, you sure you want to follow this, like, powerless imbecile? Boo, you're so strong. Boo's like, hmm. I, I, I really want to watch the Boo saga again, but like Kai, DBZ Kai, because that is a very long three seasons of a lot of filler. You know what I mean? Yep. So, I feel I feel like it's really good, but it, oh, 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 here we go. But if I didn't have the ridiculous amount of uh, filler. They, they have a, a, a defense against you, um, uh, like, swinging your sword, like, constantly. And, like, it slows down and then, like, evaporates into, like, the eight small balls that you can't deflect. So you can't just swing your sword constantly. Ah. And it's kind of reaction-focused uh, because the speed uh, changes all the time. Not that it's, like, that hard. But they do make it not brain-dead. Yo! Golden arrows... Do you have to go in the painting? Or in the wall? No, you shoot to the wall. There you go. Oh! Oh, that's so cool! Get wrecked. Get out of there, kid. The standard, you have to do this three times. What? I didn't realize you could actually get hurt. It's literally over. reactions. That one so fast. That see how fast. fast. I literally can't believe they made, like, Bocce Ball into the final boss fight of, like, a lot of Zelda games. Yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. Now this is just such a cool boss. <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty, uh, pretty paid by numbers, but this is nice. By the way, is the phrase milk toast like M-I-L-K-T-O-A-S-T, or is it like... It's M-A-L-Q-U-E-T-O-A-S-T. Okay, so, okay. It's, right. it's not literally milk toast. Yeah, I've seen, like... I don't know if it's, like, a meme, oh, but I've seen some people, like, physically say it that way, and I was like, I mean, you basi I don't think. You basically say it, like, that. I'm sorry, spell it that way. Yeah, it's definitely not spelled that way. And I don't know if that, 
you know how sometimes uh, people troll on purpose, like doubles advocate and and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was like, now anyone that says milk toast, unless they're very specific about it. Yo. No way! The whole way around. <laughs> That's so cool. Correct. And I'm gonna make the joke. I, I do it every time. End time. End time. <laughs> two months. Probably six weeks. <laughs> six weeks. Two days. I uh, I watched a speaking of very quickly because we're ending on this on speed runs. I watched the video of that uh, guy who faked the Halo speed runs and then went to GDQ. The Cody something or other. Do you know what I'm talking about? He went to an early GDQ. And it was like three. It was supposed to be like two or three hours for a Halo Legendary run, and it ended up being like literally seven hours. <laughs> so, like so now they, so now they have a rule. It's like the Cody something or other rule, <laughs> where like you can't go over a certain amount of time, or else they can cut it. Because you know how they are. Like even especially back then, they were like too polite to be like, "Hey, we need to stop." You know what I mean? Kind of mercy killed us. Garbage. Yeah, yeah. So no, that that's a thing. Uh, and not only that, by the way, he uh, he was supposed to be the world record holder in, like, everything legendary. He was, like, the GOAT of Halo. And he actually had to drop it down to, like, normal difficulty several times. Uh, or, or he dropped it and then never raised it back up to legendary. Why would he willingly want to go to GDQ when he knows have, he's a fraud? It was one of the earlier years before they moved to the big room, so it was, like, 2014 or something like that. But I have no idea. If I was a cheater, I'd go out of my way to be never come to a live person event because then I'd be immediately and it's funny found out. Because yes! yes! <laughs> it's funny to go to that, those events, you have to, you have to, um, specifically, uh, sign up. They don't invite you. You know what I mean? You have to be like, hey, I want to do this. Uh, you audition for it. So he had to literally audition. Like, what did he think was going to happen? It's so stupid. Like, there's just a certain point, like, if Somehow I could convince an NFL team that I was a good quarterback and good enough to, like, play in the game. They would get to a point where they're like, hey, you're starting in this playoff game. I'd be like, I have to tell you guys something. <laughs> I, I don't know how I got away with this, but uh, I'm going to get hit by, by a defensive lineman. I'm actually going to die, so I can't play. I'm <laughs> sorry. You know what I mean? Like, at some point, you got to be like, uh. <laughs> I do read a lot of stories about people who... Uh, lie on their resume and like get to that point and they're like I I'm so far into it I'm just gonna try and it's like I, I guess man like I just I couldn't do it if they were like oh you're a programmer you know uh, what's what's the newest thing after C++ C sharp you know C sharp like I, I didn't even know that it's C sharp sure okay uh, fix all the programming bugs in this and get it to me by Monday. Like, what, what do you do yeah. then? You know what I mean? But the like, most baffling thing about that GDQ story is that you have to, like, willingly volunteer You have stuff. to audition, yeah. And they... Months in advance. Yeah. <laughs> Why it's not like they, they, like, it's not like, um, somebody dropped out and they were like, oh, we need to fill the space. Please, please do this. Like, he's just sitting in the room and he's like, fine. It, it's just, it's crazy to me. Yeah, so, um, there's a couple really good videos on it. Uh, that, that Charlie guy, Penguin Zero, did, uh, a video on it, like, a month ago, so it got, obviously, pretty big. But, it's just an amazing story. And there's times where, like, he starts to do, like, okay, like, better than your average person, and he starts to get really cocky. He's like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, like, immediately gets BTFO'd again. Like, the, the infamous library part where, like, the, the, what are those little guys called? The, the swarm, or whatever it's called? I don't know anything about Halo, I'm the sorry. The flood, I think. The flood, the flood, that's it, the flood. Comes in, like, it's supposed to be beaten in, like, five minutes, because you skip, like, the whole thing. Even back then, the guy who does the video is like, I'm, I'm taking this on 2013, uh, speedrun strats. And it takes him, like, 45 minutes, because he doesn't skip a single thing, and it's like, oh, cool, th this is fun. Which is why we do long form let's let's plays that we also practice beforehand. That's so also it's not true. A disaster. That's also true. Uh, Spencer's playthrough of Silent Hill Two is like 
one of the very few mm -hmm. blind playthroughs we've ever done. But it has not been too much of a disaster. No. There's only a couple times where I wander around for five minutes, but it, if it literally ever got to the point where I actually didn't know what to do, I would just pause the recording and then just pick it up again, like more than a couple minutes. Yeah, the good thing about Silent Hill, other than if you get stuck on like some really ridiculous puzzle, which probably is only going to happen on the difficult puzzle level, yeah. but the games are so streamlined that you just have to like find the room you haven't explored yet, and that's usually good enough. I would say Silent Hill 1, you know the part where you have to get the three keys, like in the doghouse and everything at the very beginning? That could really, if you didn't know where you were going, that, that those are three very specific odd places you have to go. So that could be troublesome. Yeah. But, but obviously, any, anything the, after two is whatever. And obviously the, um, like, Silent Hill 3 on difficult puzzle is like, the first thing you do is like some ridiculous Shakespeare's puzzle. It's like, if you don't know what Shakespeare is, it's like you're screwed. I remember doing that puzzle when we didn't have good internet, so I had to, like, literally stop playing and go to the computer. My most vivid, vivid memory about Silent Hill is, um, I think it was Silent Hill 1, the, the puzzle you do at the very end where you have to count the uh, creature's legs. Ah, uh, yep. But it's not super obvious. They just, nope. they, they show you the thing, and then there's buttons for numbers, and it's just like, what do you do? Like, you were probably, like, 12 and I was 8, and I remember we got literally it was like dad can you help us <laughs> i'm so surprised i got that far Sa in the game silent hill one puzzle because it's not like silent hill even on easy is like easy you know what i mean yeah that's true and i remember i was stuck on that for like days and i was just like i don't understand this and yeah they just show you a bunch of pictures of like um uh animals and stuff yeah, it looks like a hieroglyphic animal. yeah so it's yeah. not it's it's just not obvious i remember we all. thought it was um uh, star signs, like Sagittarius yeah, and stuff like that. We overthought it so because much. it was like one of them was like um, a whale, and I was like, "Oh, is this like Aquarius?" You know what I mean? But yeah, that was one of those. Uh, and it was like, "Oh, Aquarius is the fourth one. Is the fourth of the twelve star signs?" But yeah, that actually a really good puzzle, but one that we BTFO in. And unfortunately, in twenty twenty four. And with my limited time, if I spent, like, 20 minutes on a puzzle, I'd be like, I'm looking it up. Sorry. No. I'm not going to spend a whole day being like, oh, what is this? No, thank you. These graphics look really good for 3DS. Yeah. I think this game can sometimes look a little underwhelming, but overall, it looks, it's pretty good. <laughs> that shot where they, where they uh, showed all of the low rule castle yeah. looked not great but this yeah. looks really good i'm still so um constantly surprised that switch games look as good as they do being on that tiny little cartridge i know that vita games were smaller cartridges and also looked pretty good but just the fact that like breath of the wild looks as good as it is and it's on that tiny little proprietary cartridge is amazing to switch me. cartridges can go up to 32 gigs okay so it's they're pretty big Vita infamously had very small size cartridges. I remember, uh, like, the MLB developer complaining about it. And I think, like, the max size is, like, two or three gigs. Well, at least they weren't UMDs. That's true. But the Vita was a proprietary piece of garbage. It had proprietary cartridges, proprietary memory card, proprietary, uh, like, charge data link cables. Yep. Sony got so greedy. They were so scared of piracy. And then they just made the console complete garbage. To be fair, there's been some systems that just completely were BTFO'd because of piracy, like Dreamcast. The PSP also was BTFO'd by piracy, but Sony went way too far. Yeah. Anyway, we're done with Link Between Worlds. Probably won't do a Zelda game. Uh, maybe next year I'll do uh, Oracle Seasons and Ages. That's definitely the one I want to do next. But not for a while. Seeing all these Triforces just reminds me of that uh, Triforce meme in the ASCII, like, text where you put the three Triforces, like, weird, yeah. and they're like, how does he do it? We'll never tell you. We'll never tell you. Dampe! Dampe! Gotta be in every game. I remember when ZFG actually, like, ran the 100%. It was so fun to watch. When he would get the downtown, you'd be like, please, please no bully, please no bully. 
You know, ZFG is pretty okay with losing runs to Dampe. It, if I was him, I would be very frustrated. But, I mean, it is his career, so more content is always good. Yeah. But he, he was always like, just like, yeah, if Dampe lets the run happen, then he lets it happen. If it doesn't, we just have to do it again. But, like, you have to do it, like, two or three hours in. It's I hardcore. know. I would spend, like, I don't know. I think a perfect speedrun to run is one that's like 30 minutes to an hour. That's why I really loved Resident Evil 3. Because I think nowadays the record's like 40 minutes or something like that. Maybe maybe a little less. Yeah, I remember I got to like 50 minutes or something like that. The only that. game I've ever speedrun is Mega Man X 100%, which was... Uh, like 40 minutes or yeah, something. Yeah, a little bit less than 40 minutes. Because that way, I mean, Resident Evil does 3 does have a ton of RNG, but at the very least, like, what does it matter? You get like 30 minutes in, you're not like... Oh, cool, it's two and a half hours in, and here's Dante. Let's go. I would be so mad. I would, like, just... I would quit. If I got one where it was, like, the 20th try to get the heart piece from Dante, I'd be like, and I'm done. So the fact that these people can just, like, have that happen and be like, okay, let's restart immediately. I'm like, you guys are, like, hardcore. Like, just ridiculously hardcore. Obviously, it helps that, uh, People like ZFG, like, streaming is their entire income and only yeah. thing to do, yeah. so. Do you know, uh, what streamer I like, if I'm ever, like, um, just kind of doing something, like, on the laptop, like, doing some work or whatever, uh, that I like having on the background is, um, Arceus, or Arcus, the mustache, uh, cowboy guy who talks really, really, really softly. Oh, yeah. And does Ninja Gaiden. It's funny because he he has like seven or eight hundred subs every week or every month. You know how they have the counters or whatever, which is like obviously enough to make like you know a decent living just on that. And he has probably like the least active chat I've ever seen for someone with like five six hundred people watching at a time, just because he doesn't like talk much. He just hums the music and then repeats the same stuff over and over again. But it is pretty comfy. Yeah, there's some good streams that are... Uh, not that I watch streams ever anymore, but... Yeah, some that are comfy are good. He had, like, 20,000 restarts on Ninja Gaiden or something absurd, and then he, like, reset the counter, and I'm like, but why? I do think that there's some streamers that are way too try-hard. Like, when I used to watch Caleb Hart because he used to run Mega Man X... That's a uh, personality that I don't particularly like. Yo, look at that, Ravio. Look at that! Da, da, the only da, problem with da, Caleb da, da, da. is he does a lot of games that I like. So he'll do Mega Man X, then he'll do like FF7, and I'm like, alright. Sometimes he'll do like Pokemon, and I'm like, yep, don't need to watch this. Nintendo is the author of this software for the purpose of copyright. Wait a minute. Nintendo, don't come at us. We are, we do own, I, I, we, both Trevor and I probably literally own a cartridge ourselves. We're okay. I definitely own like three or four. <laughs> of this? <laughs> yeah, because any game that has uh, a regular release oh, and a right. uh, Nintendo Selex release, I definitely have both. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, there was a, a label variant, like... Or maybe all the original ones were um, shown. Yeah. Link Between Worlds I probably only own two, but I know Wind Waker HD I own all three because there was the gold one and then the re-release with the not gold artwork, but not the Nintendo Select version. Right, right. And then the Nintendo Select version. Ten, <laughs> three of those. Nintendo said not good enough. <laughs> During that era, Nintendo was milking like collector's dry so hard. So many limited edition consoles, so many re-releases of games. Remember Nintendo Selects? That was awesome. I wouldn't be surprised if they do that again for the Switch once the Switch 2 comes out. I guess so. Maybe. I don't know. Especially I just if don't think that Nintendo wants to release $20 games anymore. But like especially ever. if it's backwards compatible with like the Switch 2, like why not just re-release Mario Odyssey and be like, remember this? Yeah, but the Switch 2 is probably going to have like Mario Kart 9, but like what's someone going to pick up? Are they going to pick Mario Kart 8, the Nintendo Switch version for $20? Or Mario Kart 9, which is probably going to be 70 bucks. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So I, I don't think they're going to do it. It's kind of the reason why Game Freak is probably never going to re-release the old Pokemon games ever again. Because they just want you to buy the full-priced retail ones. Sigh! Alright, guys. Well, thank you for watching this Link Between Worlds. Uh, and uh, 
we're going to be continuing Silent Hill 2 and doing another game in the future. I have no Ooh. idea what Trevor's plans are, but <laughs> whatever whatever he continues. I don't know either. I'll, 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 I'll brainstorm tomorrow. We'll find it out. All right, guys. See you next time. And...